<laughs> and for my big welcome to KUSI, they've sent me to look at Christmas lights in the daytime, so the joke's on me. But stay tuned because Santee is going to get lit for the holidays. I believe Francella will let us know when the sun's going to go down so we can see all the festivities. That's right, Jenny. Good to see you. Welcome to KUSI. We welcome the newest member to our KUSI team. Jenny Mikalski is live at Starlight Circle checking out all the festivities. Jenny, let me be the first to welcome you to the KUSI family. You're a lot younger than I thought. <laughs> And look at those ears. <laughs> oh, there you are, gorgeous. Wouldn't that All right. be very nice? <laughs> that would be so nice if I could go back to that time. Uh, no, I am live at the Island of Misfit Toys, where, as you can hear with your very own ears, we're being serenaded with some Christmas cheer here at Starlight Circle. I'm so excited. This is over in... <laughs> hey, girlies, good job. All right, we're going to have to cut that. We may get some sort of FCC fine for that. Come on over. I'm with the Wood family over over in Santee. So in case, you know, you've been living under some sort of Christmas decorated rock, they have been decorating more than 70 homes in Santee since the 1980s. This is a tradition that just kind of organically started. There's not one person that starts this. Chloe doesn't do it. Zoe doesn't do it. It just happens magically. It's Christmas magic. And these homes are amazing. So this is the first night here. I'm here with the Wood family. We've got Bianca, Steven, Zoe, and Chloe. Hello to you. Hi. How are are you doing so you guys created the island of misfit toys okay first of all tell me how long have you guys been doing this um i think we've been specifically with the island of misfit toys has been about the last few years uh it kind of just starts we see something cute at the store and it builds on its own from there <laughs> And Mr. Steven over here, you look very elated, but you were telling me before we went live that this um, activity is so near and dear to your heart, right? It is. I mean, it's always been about the kids and even the adults, because I'd like to think we're kids at heart, too. The last couple of years, though, with the pandemic and a lot of suffering and loss, it's become more important to see the families and the children come by, smile a little bit, and understand that you know things can be good and this is the time of year to do that so. so i have to ask a question because you guys just moved in here what five years ago or so roughly did you know that this was an obligation you had to fulfill when you signed that homeowner's contract or what there's actually a funny story <clears throat> we lived like a mile down the road and we moved here and i thought starlight circle was over there <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> i'm serious yeah and then all of a sudden i start Wait a minute. This thing goes all the way around. I honestly didn't know that. I said, oh, okay. So it's a circle. Um, okay, so I have to ask, do you girls help decorate? Um, yeah, some, yeah, a lot of times. Sometimes we get bored and, some, and then we just play all over the lawn. Sometimes you get bored. I get that. You know, I have to ask, though, why is your microphone fancier than microphone? What are you doing in life that is better than what I am doing? I don't know. You might have to ask this guy. That he bought me this for Christmas. <laughs> So I have to ask your father. Oh, no. Well, I mean, this is the joy of Starlight Tickle. This is super family friendly. It's okay, girls. You scream all you want. Just no obscenities because this is live television. Um, do you girls want to show off some of the stuff in, in the Island of Misfit Toys? I'd love to. Okay. We're going to follow around real quick. And you guys have to stay tuned because we are going to be live throughout the evening. We are going to talk to the mayor of Santee, Mayor uh, Minto, and we're going to talk to some people who just moved into the neighborhood. There is a home that is rented in the neighborhood as well. And let me tell you, there's a little secret because you have to agree to decorate if you choose to move into this neighborhood. Girlie, show off your favorite spot in the island of Misfit Toys. Come on, what do we got? It's okay. You've never done television before. Come with me. I'll walk this way. Now, the lights, again, it is not... <laughs> I mean, I don't have children, but I love it. Um, the lights are not down yet, but trust me, at about 6 o'clock, right, we're going to turn on all the lights, um, and you guys are going to see some amazing Christmas decorations here. Come on, let's say bye. You guys want to toss it back to the anchors in studio? Okay, so what you got to do, you got to talk into this mic, not that one. I'll take this one. You got to look at the camera. That's probably the better view this way. And then say, back to you. Back to you. Yeah. Which I one's think they which? Heard you. Which is that one's Zoe which? And Chloe? Yeah, tell us which one is which. <laughs>
<laughs> so I here. seem to have lost my connection oh, with studio. Yeah. Um, but again, stay tuned. You know, Starlight Circle, again, been doing this since the 1980s. Um, you know, this wraps around a huge circle. There's at least 70, perhaps 90 homes, and they're going to keep decorating, and these lights are going to be up through about Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. So come day check it out. Christmas. Day after fun. Christmas. Can't wait for it to get dark, and uh, we'll check back in with Jenny and Zoe and Chloe and the whole gang. And I love and the perfect sweater, the cat. Well, nothing says Christmas quite like a fire-breathing dragon, except this one apparently spits out candy canes. Next up, I'm taking you live to Starlight Circle in Santee, where there's a tradition that's been lighting up the East County for decades. Francella, will the dragon need to breathe fire first, or will we stay warm? Oh, maybe some fire, yeah, because it's going to be a little cool out there. She's live at the Starlight Circle, checking out all the festivities. Jenny, you introduced us to two adorable children and a candy-breathing dragon. What's going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> there is so much. I mean, it's kind of sensory overload. But yes, this has been the moment that we've been waiting for. East County has officially gotten lit. Starlight Circle in Santee has been doing this amazing tradition for decades. Since 1984, 88 homes have just spontaneously been decorating their home for Christmas. Nobody plans it. They just do it. So tonight, I have a very special guest I want to introduce you to because you know what? For most of the year, you can call him Mr. Mayor, if you will. But for the month of December, Santa Claus. Do you get it? Santa Claus? I really wish you would have made that print a little bit bigger on your shirt, Mayor. Well, Jenny, I got to tell you that um, I don't care how big that print is. I love Christmas. I love the popcorn that they serve out here, so make sure you come down and get some. And if you don't think this is good stuff, if you just look over there, Council Member Ron Halls, <laughs> he's already indulging in himself here. And um, if you're wondering where we're at, just to make a point of it, right here behind me is the uh, stop sign or the, the uh, street sign that says Tommel and West Glendon. And that's just right here off of uh, Magnolia Avenue. I'll tell you what, I come out here every year, I love to look at all the these decorations and I'll tell you what this is great what a great way to be welcome to Starlight Circle and I'll tell you what there's all kinds of uh, decorations out here that are moving and that's what I really like is the moving uh, decorations uh, you know the static ones are good too because they're lit up right and so if I had to judge one I couldn't judge them because you know what? That just wouldn't be fair. And um, now this is tonight's a really good time to come out because you guys were saying, you know, traffic gets super backed up as soon as we approach, you know, closer to Christmas. So tonight, you know, we've seen a handful of people walking out and about. And as you were mentioning, you had that kettle corn there, by the way, not a paid actor, Mr. Council Member over there. Um, but, yeah, you've got families that are selling kettle corn. We've got hot chocolate. We've got brownies so much. But what I really want to know, because this is kind of the welcoming home, uh, when you drive in through this area again, Tomel and West Glendon, you know, the work that goes into this. And here with me, this is Rob Zab Zabrowski, a good Polish gentleman who does not speak Polish. But you live here and there's a cool backstory um, to kind of the prerequisite of living here, right? Yeah. So when we um, applied to rent the house, our landlord wanted to know if we were interested in doing decorations. The, uh, it was a competition between us and another renter. Um, and we told him, yeah, we like to do decorations. We didn't realize, I don't think our landlord realized what he was getting into. <laughs> Wait, the renting and buying here is competitive enough, but you're saying if you just tell him you like Christmas, you may get the edge. Yeah, exactly. Tell him you like decorating, and we told him we'd split up a few things each year. Okay, Rob, I have to know, how long did it take you to do all this? Did you have all of this on your own? How much did it cost? What's your electricity bill? I have so many questions. Um, we built it up over the last three, three years. Each year, we probably put about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars more into it. It takes this year. It took us three weeks to set everything up. There was some construction involved. Uh, we had to build a few post holes, and then total decorating time about three and a half weeks. Um, I have to ask. It's this is just between me and you. Nobody else will know. Nobody at home. Um, are there any Grinches that live in Starlight Circle? Don't 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 feed him answers <laughs> that do not decorate their homes. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. And then again, come on. I mean, if you can 
swing it and come out tonight. There's not a lot of traffic, but around, you know, over my shoulder here, cars are already pulling in. They may live here. I don't know, but there are people walking out and about, uh, and a lot of the homes are still getting decorated. So we did see people up on the roof. They're still stringing the light. So the majority of these homes, and again, there's 88 homes here. That's crazy since 1984 that are decorated. So it is quite the sight to see. Uh, grab yourself a hot chocolate and come on over. Come keep me company because I'll be here for like another hour or so. Back to you. It looks so fun out there, Jenny. I, I need to make a special trip out there. I can't believe 88 homes. They all get together. They do it. The hot chocolate, the popcorn. So much fun. Yeah. And all it takes is one home to not do it, and it breaks the tradition. But no, everybody's uh, having fun. Yeah. I have a feeling if one home said no, all the neighbors would just go over there in the middle of the night and start putting up decorations. But uh, we'll have to see. Jenny, thanks so much. Great oh, yeah. to see you. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. all right. Jenny, are you still with Sand Tea Cloth? <laughs> I am, and you're going to want to grab your popcorn for my next report. And no, you cannot have any of mine. This is all for me. Taking you live to Starlight Circle for their big Christmas festivities. And Jenny, I noticed you went for the small popcorn size. <laughs> you know, I have a very small appetite, what can I say? So I went with the mini popcorn. Uh, you mentioned over-the-top Christmas decorations. Um, please take a look around. So all night long, we've been showing you the outside of Starlight Circle, which is obviously the 88 homes that are beautifully decorated for Christmas um, over in the Santee area. They've been doing this since 1984, but we just so happened to stumble upon Starlight Circle's very first resident who moved in in 1984. His name is John Shadwell. He's here with me. And this is, believe it or not, the inside of his home what happened, Christmas threw up. There are more Santas here than I've ever seen in my life, John. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'd say 140 plus. <laughs> what else? Uh, not only is there a lot of Santas, but uh, just a lot of everything in here that's all Christmas. Hold on. Come to me, Michael, camera. This was my face when we walked in. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. And again, you were the first resident in 1984 when the Starlight community was built and they started doing these amazing Christmas traditions. But you can't take all the credit here because your entire home was decorated by whom? By my wife, Florita. And why? I mean, how long does it take her to do this? Actually, she does it in three days, four days at the max. But she gets it done and grandchildren help her somewhat. This is crazy to me. And I, I jokingly asked you, I'm like, is this the secret to a good marriage? You just let her do this? Or do you also enjoy the festivities? Uh, she does the inside, and I take care of the outside. <laughs> That's the way it is. Always been. See, that is the secret to a good marriage, I tell you. And normally, and I will tell you, um, you know, John doesn't let strangers into his home. So, you know, urinate before you leave the home. Don't be knocking on the doors. So we're not going to tell you which home this is. But I will tell you that there is a wonderful uh, Christmas uh, a miracle happening in here. And I'm going to go from the very first resident, 1984, to one of the newest, the newest resident at Starlight Circle, Travis Enslow. Welcome. Thank you. It's uh I have no words. It was just. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> I wish we would have had your reaction live walking in, but he also was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I couldn't be happier to move in here with my family, uh, my wife and daughter. Um, we've grown up in Santee our whole lives. So experiencing this from. The receiving end has been just quite a journey, and it's only December 1st. So, Well, that's that's what you were saying. You would come here, um, you know, as a family, walk the area, and now you live here yourself. Now, I don't want to put you on blast, but I did see the outside of your home, and it's not quite up to par. That's why we're inside here where all the decorations are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I it's uh, definitely not up to par, but, I mean, from every, all the other residents that I've heard, it's uh, definitely an investment, and every year we're planning to add on more and more, and... Um, we're definitely excited to be a part of it. This It's so fun. And again, 1984, 88 homes in Starlight Circle right outside. You know, we've got people selling kettle corn. We've got uh, the cotton candy, cookies, brownies. Oh, look, it's Ron again. How did he get there? Mm -hmm. He's just going to be in every live shot eating kettle corn. Um, it's such a wonderful time. So, you know, if you can get out here, probably better to come closer uh, now, meaning not closer to Christmas because the traffic gets really crazy around here, which, hey, you're new to the area. You're yeah. going to have to deal with that, huh? Yep, absolutely. Uh, get home and you stay home. You barricade in. That's right. 
Well, you got to make sure your boss lets you leave work early, huh? Yes, absolutely. Well, I work remote, so that's not an issue. Oh, okay. Well, lucky you. Some of us have to go out into the world. Um, so Starlight Circle, you know, the bulk of the homes here are already decorated. We did see people earlier still putting up the lights and everything. So, you know, give it give it a couple of days maybe and everyone will be ready to go. I think only maybe four homes don't participate, but this is such a great place to come uh, and take a stroll with your family to witness the wonderful lights. Back to you. Jenny, do I understand this correctly, that Travis works at home and his home is still not up to snuff as far as Starlight Circle standards go? Did I hear that correctly? Um, the head honchos in the studio would like to know, why are you, how is it possible that you're working from home, but yet you have not found time to decorate the outside of your home? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I plead the fifth. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an investment. It was very expensive to get what we have up, so we plan to add every year. And I'm giving you a hard time yeah. because his how I'm you know I'm exaggerating. His home is decorated, but of course how how can we not showcase this wonderful home uh, belonging to Mr. John Shadwell? So thank you for letting us in. I really didn't ask. I just barged in because it's beautiful in here. All right. <laughs> Back Sounds to you guys. like a great attitude. Love it. I highly recommend gingerbread as a theme for anybody uh, in search of a Christmas theme this year. All right, Jenny. Welcome to KUSI. Thanks.